Um, you know, felt it was a, a very good football game. Um, you know, I was impressed going in with um, what they were all about in terms of athleticism. Um, they had a very good defensive front and linebacker core, um, you know, that were as athletic and as quick as maybe we've seen. Uh, and, um, and so, you know, they lead the MAC in terms of uh, number one in defensive points scored against and and so we knew it was not going to be an, an, an easy day along those uh, along those lines you know they've got two very good running backs uh, they really try to establish the ground game as as well as throw and so um, we knew it'd be an, a, a very hard fought football game and that's what it turned out to be yeah uh, you know um, we actually did change uh, our defense over the course of the off season in terms of um, what we were all about, and and um, and I think they're they're really settling into it now and feeling very very confident with it. Um, you know, we still have a mixture of missing some guys, but some guys coming back. Um, you know, I think Josh Kristoff is is the healthiest he's been for some time for us, and you know he had a an impact in that game with I think it was nine tackles and obviously uh, an interception and at, at a key point and. Uh, and so, you know, I I think we're um, even though we lost some guys, we're we're able to put a very very athletic group of guys on the on the field, and I think they're feeling comfortable with what they're doing. Well, uh, you know, several factors will have to come into play, but um, number one, um, how I operate uh, in terms of a guy who's a starting guy, gets injured, and then, then comes back. Um, you know, that's generally um, a, a situation uh, that, that can be very difficult um, in, in, in terms of, you know, what's the best thing for the individuals, what's the best thing for the, for the team. Um, and so I've always operated with the idea that if, if a guy earned the first team spot, uh, and, and got hurt and was taken taken out of that, uh, and he gets healthy again and comes back. It all depends upon um, where we see the guy that replaced him, uh, how well he's playing. If um, if he's playing at a higher level than what the guy that got injured was playing at, um, then then he becomes the the starter. If he was not playing at a higher level than the original starter that got hurt. And the original starter, if he's healthy and, and is solid in, in what he's doing and, and um, in good shape and, uh, you know, not favoring the injury at all, then, then, um, then the, the original starter becomes the starter again. And it's obvious that, you know, we have now two quarterbacks with a lot of experience, two quarterbacks that have won games for us and um, have, have done a really a great job of uh, leading this football team. So... That's all a positive, and um, you know, just uh, just go with um, with how you structure um, guys being injured and being re replaced, and that that's what we'll do. Sometimes a guy that is injured, uh, you know, that's ready to practice comes back um, is uh, is can practice, go through things, and 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 be ready to go. Then. There's a soreness that can come into play with some injuries, and then a guy will take a step back, and and so may not be ready that week, but is gaining on it and can be ready the, in, in another week. So all that uh, all that enters into it, and uh, the good thing is that that um, you know both guys have shown the ability to play very very well, which will when we get both of them ready to go, will give us two healthy quarterbacks that that have experience and and we're very comfortable with playing and, and believe in. Yeah, you know, he's he's been so dependable through his career that uh, if he does miss one, you know, you're you're baffled, you know. Uh, but everybody at some point in time will will miss a, a, a kick or two. And um, but he's had a great career. Uh, you know, he's, he's having a, an, another outstanding season. So it was great to see him go three for three for three. Um, you know, he's very capable of uh, 
always doing that. And, um, you know, he's a guy that, you know, believes in himself, has a great work ethic. So you always feel comfortable with him going um, out there to, to make a kick. You know, nothing's automatic. You know, the snap has got to be there. The hold's got to be there. The protection's got to be there. And he's got to get the kick off in a certain amount of time. And, and, and all that's got to enter the pitcher. But on, on his part of it, He's well prepared every time he takes the field to uh, to handle the pressure and to and to kick well. Um, you know he's uh, he, he's been very very sharp in in terms of uh, being the kind of kicker that we've looked for. Um, you know he's able to uh, kick for distance. He's certainly able to get great height. Now, I didn't think this past game was one of his better games, um, but. Um, you know, he's been pretty consistent, and um, he's a very athletic uh, punter, and, and, and so he's capable of, of um, running with the ball, of throwing the ball. I mean, he's capable of, of mixing in whatever you want to mix in for your punter or extra point field goal holder. And so he's a, he's a legitimate threat, and you always like an athletic guy to, uh, to be your punter or, 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 or kicker, and that's, that's what he is. He's, he's a excellent athlete and so usually excellent athletes find a way to to, to get pretty consistent and, and to be really valuable to your football team and he is our snap to punt time is such that uh, teams don't try to block punts against us if you notice um, for the last two years they've been coming pretty hard and pretty heavy and pretty often um, very very seldom do we get a full outright punt block attempt um, at us because of uh, operational time. And, um, and that is huge. I mean, you know, now, now we're, we're going to get it. At some point in time, you, you do get it. And, um, and, and we'll get it. But, um, you know, he's shown signs of being able to, to handle the pressure of catching the ball, getting it off uh, quickly. You know, we're very fortunate in that Miles has been an extremely consistent snapper for us and, and that has been a, a, a big help um, but the snap to punt time now is what you look for. You got a specific time? What is that? Yeah and, and, and any, anything uh, at two, two seconds um, you know he's had a, a number of times where he's well below that you know he's gotten one off in one seven something and, and so you know that's uh, you're asking a guy to run 15 yards to block a punt in 1.7 seconds, or certainly under under two. So, you know that's you're in pretty good shape. Not saying it can't get done. The moment you say something can't get done, lo and, lo and behold, it can happen. You know. I've addressed our team on that uh, really all season long and felt pretty good about how our team was handling that um, until the last two ball games. You know, we had a game where we had two penalties um, in it. And, um, and, and so we've been a very disciplined team. Now, some of that is falling apart a little bit on us, these last uh, two, uh, two ball games. Um, we've made some mistakes that have just been plain dumb mistakes out there on, on the football field. That's been very, very costly to the team. And usually it's out of selfishness sometimes that, um, that those, kind of, those kind of plays can happen. The 15-yard personal foul uh, where you get in a confrontation and then the next snap you're, you're doing something that's, you know, that, that, that doesn't make sense. But, but um, you know, we talk about, we drill what to do in, in all those situations and and obviously, there's times when I think guys want to perform so well, they want to win so bad, and that um, that they find it all of a sudden they've done something. They find it that they've done something that they wouldn't normally do. Uh, they got to be under more control than to let that uh, let that happen. Um, you know, uh, I, I think that that um, careful how I word this, but. Um, but there are a lot of uh, 
a lot of penalties that, that seem to be uh, occurring that sometimes, you know, will get flagged in a game and sometimes won't. And you just got to be ready to adjust to w what, whatever the game demands that you adjust to. And, and then you got to be smart enough to move on to the next play and not get in any kind of verbal confrontation with the opponent because that's, that's when you end up um, uh, making all kinds of mistakes and, um, and having all kinds of breakdowns and, and making foolish penalties. So we'll continue to talk to our team. Um, you know, it's obvious that that plays an important role. It played a huge role in the, in the Bowling Green game, you know, and um, could have been a, a, a deciding factor in, in this game, but, but we were able to, to overcome it. You don't overcome it all the time or most of the time. And, and so we've got to get much better than, than what, uh, what we did these last two games. Well, I, I think they're, you know, they're a football team that's got a good combination of things. You know, they're athletic up front and uh, on, on both sides of the ball. And uh, that generally gives you a, a chance every time you step on the, on the football field. You know, they have themselves the kind of runner that you look, look for to establish uh, a running game. They have the kind of thrower you, you look for. They have uh, two corners that are uh, lockdown corners that allows them to play a lot of man coverage and um, and forces you to look elsewhere other than at, at the wideouts and um, and and they have good movement um, you know they don't put themselves in long yardage situations a lot from the offensive uh, side of it you know they've they've got good offensive schemes uh, and they don't find you don't find them putting themselves in position to have a have what we'll call a dead play, you know, a play that legitimately you don't have much of a shot at when the when the when the ball snapped, and and so um, you know they're a good functional football team that's talented. Yeah, you know we've we've been getting off to uh, a, a slow start uh, for a few games there, and and um, wanted to change that. Uh, didn't want that to happen <coughs> happen again, um, and we. Wanted field position, and and we've got a pretty good return team. And um, you know, you figure if you get a decent return and get a few first downs, you're at least establishing field position with a with a punt. And if you can play well enough to to put a score on the board, especially seven points, you know that that just gets the momentum on, on your side and gets you rolling a little bit. And we wanted to break what was happening to us in terms of of uh, getting behind early.